What is up, everybody? My name is Advance, and this is Advance Sports Talk. All right, so big deals happened this week, and yeah, I'm back on my uh, trying to get back on my on my routine. You know, so reporting every Tuesday. All right, so uh, the Saints have acquired Derek Carr. They signed him to a four-year, fifty million, one hundred fifty million dollar contract uh, with a hundred with a hundred million guaranteed. That's it's not bad, not bad at all. Like, you know, so hey, like I said, Derek Carr is a, is a solid enough quarterback. I just didn't want him, <laughs> but, but in any case, all right. So yeah, that's um that's good. So you can definitely uh, yeah, Michael Thomas seems to be really excited about it but I just I, I just need him to stay healthy you know so I mean hey we had we had Derek Carr work with a uh, work with another uh, top five quarter uh, well, actually top two receiver so let's see what he does with a top five receiver I guess actually I don't know I think Michael Thomas might have fell he might have dropped a little bit you know, with the, with all the injuries the last couple of years, but I mean, even still, he's had a um, he's had a, a whole year to recover. So if he doesn't get hurt one, uh, like at the beginning of this season, then you know we'll see what we'll see what that lays. All right, now uh, next big news, one that I'm actually more excited about. Well, I'm partially excited about. I'm excited for him, but I'm sad because we didn't get him and that's Geno Smith Geno Smith was um was retained by the Seahawks for, on a three year deal for 105 million dollars good job Geno you you earned that so yeah man I would have said like after the, the job that he did this year and after the glimpse that he gave us last year when, when Russ was out because his finger got fucked up uh, yeah, they would have been stupid to not re-sign him, you know. But, but hey, congrats to Gino. All right, so the Rams have re-signed Baker Mayfield. I don't feel any type of way about that. I mean, it's yeah. I mean, it it, it is what it is. So, <laughs> but you know, I mean, hey. So now um, in this season coming up. It's gonna be um, it's gonna be a battle between them two, between uh, Baker Mayfield and Matt Stafford for um, for the uh, for the starting position. And that was another one. Oh, right now uh, it's looking like Lamar Jackson is still it, a deal with Lamar Jackson is still in the wind, and. Here's the thing. Even though I like Lamar, uh, I kind of don't blame the Ravens. You know, and I've always been saying, all right, give Lamar his money, give Lamar his money. But, you know, like at the same time, Lamar Jackson's been hurt. He's been hurt the last couple of years. And I know part of that is due to, like, his play style because he's because he, he's liable to take the, take the ball and and run. He's led the, he's led his team in rushing in a few games, <laughs> quite a few games this year. So yeah, so I don't know. Like I like Lamar, but I think so they they're saying that um it's more likely that he's gonna get franchise tag. So take the tag because they gotta pay you top five money. They gotta give you a top five salary. So Take the, so yeah, take the tag. They're not gonna um, yeah. So that so it buys you a year. Take the tag and it buys you a year, and then just roll up. You know, just just the, hey, just re up next year. So make this the best damn year possible. So and I don't know, like it's um. Like the whole the whole thing that Lamar was negotiating it himself or whatnot, and I understand you want to cut out the middleman or whatever, but I don't know. 
it just didn't seem it didn't seem uh, you know feasible so me personally I felt as though he should have negotiated the money that he wanted into an incentive based contract so that he can so that he gets all the money on the back end kind of like kind of similar to what Brady and and, um, and Dak did you know so like yeah they got like they got like a they got like hundreds of millions of dollars but they got it on the back end and didn't really uh and it didn't affect the cap that much so it didn't really put a stranglehold on the team but <laughs> yeah so in any case that's it for um you know quarterback news i'm gonna be back with uh with more updates that's going on throughout the league because there's there's some other shit that's going on as well so <laughs> so yeah and i apologize because i've been doing y'all a disservice i have this has been three weeks and i haven't done a single xfl video i mean that is if, if that is what you guys want so in any case uh post your comments down below let me know what you think of these uh, of this news what do you feel about Derek carr going to the saints how do you feel about geno smith being re-signed by the by the sea i'm about to say the falcons by the seahawks how do you feel about um about baker mayfield do you think that he has a chance to start this year and what do you think is gonna is gonna happen with lamar more than often more likely it's, it's looking like he's gonna get franchise tag so if he gets franchise tag i wouldn't even be mad about it if if i was him because they still got to pay you that top that top dollar so yeah in any case post your comments down below my name's advance don't forget to like share subscribe on everything i'm out